Weber hitting 316. He was two for eight in the series against Wichita. The one pitch is swung on, and that is lifted out towards center field. Eggleston going back, still going back. It's over his head. Off the warning track, off the wall. They're going to wave in Kendall. Here comes the throw, and it gets by the cutoff man, and Kendall will score without a problem. And Weber has an RBI double, and Winnipeg leads it one nothing. The payoff. Fastball swung on, hit to the gap in right center. That's going to get down, split the outfielders, go all the way to the wall. Easy trot around third and a score for Weber. Stopping at second, Myro with an RBI double. Back-to-back run-producing doubles, and the Gold Eyes lead it 2 nothing in the bottom of this first inning. The 0-1. Swung on, line to left for a base hit. In to score, Myro. Over to pick it up, Blunt. He'll fire it back in on an RBI single. Long stops at second. 3-0 Winnipeg. We'll see next week. 3-0 Winnipeg here. The pitch. Swung on, lined out to right field. That's going to get down, and that's going to get by Schmidt. He has to barehand or backhand it, and racing for second is Weber. He'll get in there safely. A run will score, and it's 4-0 for Winnipeg as Weber has an RBI single. Full count to Myro, the Gold Eyes first baseman. The pitch is swung on, lifted out toward left to his right. And our left is Donald Blunt. He makes the catch in fair ground. His throw will be cut off at third. Tagging at third and coming in to score is Kaiser. And it's 5-0 Winnipeg. Sack fly for Brian Myro. He has two ribbies tonight. By the way, that was home run number 10 on the year for Jim Tomei. For Minnesota, the 1-0. Swung on, hit high and deep to left. Blunt going back. Courtesy trot. He'll look up. Pucker up and kiss it goodbye. Phelan Lantini smacks his first in his return to Winnipeg and his fifth of the year. And the Gold Eyes have scored in three straight. It's 6 nothing, Winnipeg. Well, no doubt about that one. Brand comes set, the 1-1, swung on, that's hit down that first base line, that is a fair ball, and it's going to be picked up by one of the guys in the bullpen that's guarding the catcher, it's a fair ball or called foul. Well, home plate umpire, Lance Schoenwald, called it a fair ball. Then I thought maybe Rich Grass over at first called it foul. Either way, one of the pitchers guarding the catcher in the bullpen made the catch on the baseball. And it looked like it chalked the line to me. And they are going to call it a ground rule double. Well, there you go. Lou Watt will score. And so will Luis Allen from second. 1-1. One, one. Swung on. That's hit high. Pretty deep to left. Going back. Blunt at the warning track. At the wall. He'll look up. Pucker up. And kiss it goodbye. It went off one of the tops of the flagpoles. And Kendall breaks into the home run trot. His second of the year. A two-run shot. And the Gold Eyes have hit double digits. It's 10-0. And there's nobody out here in the third. Baby. Kendall's 43rd and 44th RBI of the year. And he's 23 years old. First pitch to Weber. Swung on. Line to left center for a base hit. And maybe more. That's going to get by Eggleston and go to the warning track. Kaiser will easily score on that. And Weber strides for second. And the Gold Eyes lead it 11-0. Weber is 3-for-3 three three tonight with 3 RBI in this frame. The 3-1. Swung on, wide back up the middle for another base hit. An easy trot in from third for Weber. 12 nothing Winnipeg. Lentini's three for three with three RBI tonight. He's flown out and popped out. Old eyes have 16 hits tonight. First pitch to Cooper. Swung on, that is lined over first down the right field line. That might get a run in. In fact, it will. Eggleston will fly around third. He'll head home. Up with the ball, Kaiser in right. His throw goes to Kendall. 
And it's an RBI single for Jason Cooper. Three straight hits off Ace Walker here. And it's 12 to 1. Foster to his belt, the 1 0. Swung on, that's a bullet hit down the first base line. Diving out, Mercado got a piece of it. It spills back in behind him. Kendall will score. Kaiser will score on that. By the time the right fielder, Cooper, came in to try to pick up the baseball. Also some help from Frost over there. But that was a bullet by Myro, and it's a two-run single, and the Gold Eyes lead it 14 to 1. Now I think those two guys from the bullpen walking down there from the dugout are just in case, the 0-2. Swung on, chopper right side. Coming in will be Kendall. One play, that's to go to first a little bit low, but dug out of the dirt by Bass. A run will score as Cooper is put out, but he picks up an RBI. No record of 450 ERA. First pitch to Carpenter, swung on. That's hit to straightaway center, running back. Is Eggleston still going back? And on the warning track, it is gone. A home run for Ridge Carpenter. His first is a pro. And he breaks into the home run trot. And everybody will get on their feet. It's 15 to 2 Winnipeg. And Carpenter with three big extra base hits here tonight. He goes dead central for his first. And RBI, number 13. Congratulations, Rich Carpenter. Nobody's going to congratulate him. They'll all get down to the one end of the bench. He's looking for win number 37. He's been at 36 the last four starts. The 0-1. Swung on, popped up into right field. Cody Kaiser, you may have it for him. And Kaiser underneath it makes the catch. And win number 37 is recorded in downtown Winnipeg. Congratulations, Ace Walker. He becomes the winningest pitcher in franchise history and hugs, handshakes, high fives, all the way around. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy, a four-year gold eye. And the fans are loving it here, just over 5,000 to see it on a Monday night. In a 15-2 win for the Winnipeg Gold Eyes, and Walker fittingly throws a complete game to do it here tonight. And the Gold Eyes move three games ahead of the Saints for first in the North with 13 to go on the regular season schedule.